iTunes. He's working, yeah? Yeah. Well, I assume. Yes, dear. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Morning, everybody. <laughs> I've just been telling Pat about a film that I watched last night with Robin Williams in called uh, One Hour Photograph. One Hour Photograph, I think it was called. You want to watch it if you haven't seen it? It pretty good. Yeah. It sounded pretty good. Very poignant film, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it totally blew me, well, it didn't blow my mind, but... Yeah, yeah maybe. It just left you staring. Yeah. Into space for a minute or two after. Mm -hmm. You know, one of them kind of films. Like the boy with striped pyjamas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Now Tracy lent us oh. that. No, she bought she it. She bought us it for his anniversary <laughs> one year, didn't she? We were <laughs> out in the camper, well, the caravan. We watched it. Oh, yeah. And we just looked at one another it's in disbelief. Very traumatic. At the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Really? So yesterday we uh, were with Pamela. Um, we went to the weather Whale. I didn't film it. No. Um, so we've been there lots, haven't we? We've been there lots of times. Um, I filmed it before. It was full. Not, what she, it was full, full. We had a 15 minute wait to get served because there's a party on in there. Well, and we got the bus. Yeah. Up there. And um, Pamela have come in her car and met us there. Um, we had lunch, very nice. Yeah, good chat. It was freezing cold, pouring yeah. with rain, horrible day. We got off at the bus and we could hear people saying, God, it's like winter <laughs> in, in Putsy Town yeah. Centre. Mm. Yeah. Um, and it was. It was really bitter. Bitterly cold. Mm. So we, we more or less just come back here. Yeah. Didn't go anywhere else. Um, and we're chatting until turn six, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, mm. <clears throat> Tracy came back. She went to four chemists because she'd been given some cream, uh, a prescription for some cream. And it wasn't until she went in the last chemist that the last chemist told her that this cream they couldn't get hold of anymore. It just won't be sent out. Um, and she would have to go back to the doctor and get another prescription for a different cream. Well, it took, took ages. Yeah, I mean, she went get... to four different chemists. But it took ages for her to get went. the appointment. It did, it took her ages to get an appointment with the doctor. So, then she had to drive up to Glen Lee instead of. Oh, had she? Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Right. I couldn't get her an appointment at ours. She had to go to Tudor. Right. Um, yeah. Is that the Bramley one or the Carvely one? Glen Lee. The Bramley one. No, oh. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, you could call it Bramley. It's yeah. No. No man's land in it. No. You want to tint in where is it? Tint in anywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Um Yeah. Things well, things are things bad. Are bad out things there. are bad. Well, you can't get hold of things. So we're gonna get into be like a like Brazil, where the, the rich have got everything and the poor have got nothing. Mm. I think it took her three days to get a, an appointment with the doctor. Just ringing telephone, up. ringing, ringing, ringing. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, she'll have to wait well Monday, I think, now to 
get back in touch with the doctor for another prescription. And I've I've ordered a double a double lot of tablets <clears throat> for when we go where we're gonna go. Um, that's on the third of May, mm. and they, they delivered the tablets yesterday. There's only one lot. Mm. I did it in writing. Explain to them in writing, talk to them in the surgery, walked up there deliberately, talked to them, tell them what exactly why I was asking for double amount. Wrote that on the prescription. Still I didn't get a double amount. Yeah. It's hopeless trying to deal with the, uh, these people. So I had to ring them up and explain what had happened. <laughs> and to explain again what's happening. And she said that they'd send some more. Yeah. I, I know they say things. Well, if they don't, she'll just go without them. And we'll, <laughs> we'll come up with it. Just finish up in hospital in on Ireland no. or somewhere. You might get treated over there. Well, I, I, might, I might get somewhere. I might be able to get a prescription. <clears throat> they might be able to send for a prescription from, right. from doctors if not. Yeah, well, we are going. Choose yeah. what? So. Yeah. so. <clears throat> we'll wait and see again. You're always waiting, aren't you? For one thing or another. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, we, we sailed through life. Once. Yeah. I can remember. Just nothing. You just lived your life. Yeah. There just seemed to be no encumbrances. No. Seemed to be very little that frustrated your efforts. Or oh, is that, am I looking back if I throw rose coloured <clears throat> spectacles? I don't know, but when, <clears throat> when I were expecting our trace, our doctors were at bottom of the street, weren't they? Yeah. And when I went into hospital, um, you got an asthma attack. And he, he came and told me. He, came, he said, I'll go see your husband. He's in. I was in the <coughs> <coughs> infirmary. Um, yeah, I'll and you yeah. were in St Mary's. <coughs> he says, I'll go see him and, and then I'll, I'll let him know how he are. And I mean, he, he was ever so good, wasn't he? I mean, he had time. Can you what? believe it? Well, um, because I suppose he went over there as well to LGI and to St Mary's. So, how oh, things have changed. Mm -hmm. Talk, talking about <clears throat> doctors, I, I I downloaded their app, you know. Um, but, oh, it must be what three years ago. Mm. I think not long after we. Took the room in Tracy's house, moved into this room we have in Tracy's house. We registered with them, and not long after they, they, they said you can download an app and you can make appointments and things online, order prescriptions. Mm. So I thought, well, anything's better than trying to phone them up. So <laughs> I downloaded this app, and then well, I'd been ordering prescriptions on it, brilliant. And I, I made an appointment one day, I don't know what it was, <laughs> I got. And they rang me up and they said to me, do you know you've made an appointment with, with midwife? Hmm. I'd no. <laughs> I said, well, you have. Do you still want to keep it? <laughs> <laughs> do you still want to keep this appointment? <laughs> I said, no, I don't. I said, I thought I would make an appointment with doctor. <laughs> So there we are, see? Yeah. Little guy lamb. There you go. Even even bumming up tangled me up. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh dear. Well What are you planning on doing today? Have you got I... what in mind? <laughs> You know, have you, have you ever heard, of, you've heard about AI, haven't you, artificial intelligence? 
Um, speaking of artificial intelligence, they've um, yesterday was the day that they've illegally uh, allowed driverless cars on the road in England. I don't know if you know that. Mm. Although you, they won't be, a, they're not allowed to have no driver in them. There Somebody, still has to be yeah. a driver in them, um, behind the wheel. And I don't know whether the you're only allowed to use it on the motorways or what. I'm not. It was a bit vague what, what I read about that. I'm not too sure, but I come across um, a program called AI AIP Chat GPT. Chat GPT or something. Weird. They come up with a note that <laughs> technology. They've got a language all of their own, haven't they? Mm. And um, it all intrigues me, I might add. It doesn't make me go, Ugh! no, it, it sort of draws me in. I'm quite fascinated by it. Um, I've downloaded this app on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. I think this. this Software. You're chatting to little <laughs> little tin men somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> this software is intended for high flying business people, I think. All right. And, you know, people <laughs> with employing thousands of people and that, and trying to solve conundrums in um, in their marketing um, exploits or whatever you want to call it. So. You know, I, I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I've been working, I, I was messing with it. I've been messing with it. Mm -hmm. I'm doing an experiment with it. And I'm not going to say what it is yet, because so far it ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I do ever works. Oh, um, Trevor, don't get yourself entangled. It, it was described as, you know, uh, a jaw-dropping discovery, you know. Yeah. It's like a cure for cancer. Just yeah. take this pill, no more cancer. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was equivalent to that, right. you know. So I'm trying it. So far... Mm. Metaphorically speaking, I'm still riddled with cancer. It ain't <laughs> cured, cured it at all. It. It's oh, not to do with it was no, just that's no. just an analogy. No, it's not and um, yeah. We're not making light of cancer, we definitely aren't. <laughs> Gaze you no. to death. Yeah. Although they are making They, they are, are making progress, are they? Oh well Can I was reading feel? something today about it makes you wonder things, you know. There's, there's these, what do they call them? They are like a dead virus, a dormant virus that are like thousands of years old mm. that have been in the human DNA for thousands of years, oh. laying dormant. And they've discovered... Can they kill it? Well, these were, these were sort of potentially cancerous viruses or something and they live, they've been they've been d dormant for thousands of years right and they've discovered that if you get cancer these these dormant things come a a awake they went not oh. and they sort of cluster like little you know like a cancer it, it, it it's it, it sort of an out of con like an out of control. I mean, I, I don't know. I, you, you know, who, who am I We're to just talk? Just now. I it? don't know. Out of control blood vessel or what, whatever it is, just continues to multiply. Mm. It, 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 things happen in your body all the time like that. But they con once they get, they don't get out of control, and that's what a cancer is. It's, it's out. out of it's just co continues to multiply and multiply. This. This virus thing, they found it's clustering around it and inhibiting it. Oh. Not killing it, but interfering with it. Oh. So they think that by 
following this route somehow, they might be able to cause it to actually attack the cancer. Right. Not just not just interfere with it, but like literally attack it. attack it, yeah. Mm. As Dr. Spock speaks again. <laughs> you know, I was reading stuff. That's where he gets it from. <laughs> so uh, it must be out there. Mm. Diary. I don't know. Sorry, my mind's racing. Um, where am I? Where did we get to? I had a strange night last night. <laughs> I was having strange nights. Okay, this is the 16th of November 2017. I had a strange light night last night. Strange dreams. Restless. Yet I woke early. There's a lot going on on this park at the moment. Some new people moved in next to Phil. And would you believe it? They're not friendly either. What is it with this place? I just don't understand it. I checked the gas bottle in the camper and there's more in it than I thought. Practice putting or practice putting. Then after lunch I played golf. There's workmen all over the place, chopping trees down. It stayed fine, and the winter teas are in operation now. Yeah, they had, you had, they had teas you didn't use in the winter. You weren't allowed to use them. Um, and they, in the winter, they, put them, they allowed you to use them, and they had hard, like, well, like an hard standing area. You didn't use them in summer, you mean, but you used them yeah, in winter. Yeah, what did I say? You didn't use them in winter, and then you used oh, them in winter. Right, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the following day, no, the no, I mean, it's the 18th. Yesterday was a nice day. We drove to Hubbard's Hill in Louth. Oh, it's nice there. And had a good walk. Mm. Yeah, Hubbard's Hill in Louth. There's like a stream runs through it. Mm. In the summer, it's like Blackpool. <laughs> Thousands of people picnicking and kids playing in this little stream, stream paddling and rocks in it and that. Mm. Yeah, discovered where Louth Golf Club is. Too posh for us. <laughs> we called in at the little coffee shop just outside Louth and had a bit of lunch. The, that was the one maybe that we, you know, where near, the little garden centre is near where, near the fall before. Oh, where yeah. we got the camper. Right. Then called in at the pub next to the camper place. <sighs> hey up. Called in at the pub next to the camper place. Well, in Louth. I don't know, I don't remember that. No. They do meals and have a little shop. Oh, oh, on the way back, yeah, yeah. there were a, a bloke that sold setting down campers and yeah. there was a pub near it. And yeah. you, you could actually, you did want a little camping campsite at the back yes, of it. Yes, there was. And, and, they, and they had a little had shop. Because there was no shop in the village, it closed down. So he had this tiny little room, didn't it? Yeah, in the with pub. bits and pieces in, yeah. Yeah. I think you could get stamps there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. very enterprising. We got the surprise of our lives when Tracy, David and Alethea arrived about 8.30pm. Wow. So they never, with the beautiful invite she has done for us for our anniversary. Oh, oh she wow. just popped across. Popped across. Two oh. and a half hour journey. Oh, well, she wouldn't care about that. No, she wouldn't. They drove back and got home about half past twelve at night. Wow. Blimey. Oh, yeah, Typical of Tracy is that. Yeah. She is like that. Absolutely beautiful are these invites. I've shown you them anyway on here. For all those regulars among mm -hmm. us. So the 19th. A beautiful day today. Wall to wall sunshine. 
got some stamps from the office. Tracy got us the rest of the addresses so I can post the invites off tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, that's why she brought them across so we could <coughs> send them out to people who wanted. Yeah. That was November and his anniversary were in January. Yeah. Played golf again in the afternoon. I still feel fit, but my right heel hurts afterwards. Mm. I still feel the same way about this place. I'm sure I would not find anywhere better, but I'm still not comfortable. It feels as though someone will tell me off for something or stop me from something at any time. We both, both hate him next door. Yeah. <clears throat> Alky Phil. Mm. Well, the next one's very short, so I'll read it. The following day. A wet and windy morning. Pat wasn't well again this morning. The AF was back again. Mm. The caravan bloke was supposed to come to fix the water heater in the camper, but he didn't phone. I never went out all day. Just a real boring day. <laughs> that sounds like my mum's diary. You must sat looking after me. Yeah. You weren't well again. No. What were I saying earlier? That like, oh yeah, well it didn't cover that period. When I was saying well, we just seemed to cruise through life. Yeah. We know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe we didn't. <laughs> well, we certainly didn't that, that period. No. So, <laughs> 21 minutes we've consumed already. All right. Um, Pretty good. Today. I've got a couple of things to do. Oh yeah, got a couple of things in mind. Mm, um, nothing much really. I uh, might go, might take the water pump down to camper. I didn't want to take stuff in camper until, because it's going in going for in service for on service. Monday. We well, don't have to take it down this week. You can take it down one way. Although we, if we're going off, it could We're going go off the following there. day. Yeah, it could go, couldn't it? Mm. <laughs> mm. You never know these things. Mm. So it's to be up and get packed. Yeah. That's the idea on the Tuesday. Right. <sighs> okay, folks. On that note, we'll end this cheerful video. <laughs> and we'll see you... All being well tomorrow. Bye everyone. Bye.